At first glance, river stones look dull and ordinary, just plain pebbles rolling along the water. But appearances can be deceiving. Hidden inside these stones are gold flakes, garnets, aquamarine, rubies, and rare crystals, preserved over thousands of years as rivers carve through mineral-rich terrain. Rivers carry fragments of quartz, jasper, serpentine, and metamorphic rocks downstream, polishing and sometimes concealing the treasures within. Tiny cracks, veins, color variations, or faint translucence are subtle clues that something extraordinary may be hidden. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 river stones most likely to hide gems and gold, and show you where to look, what to examine, and how to spot nature's secret treasures. The next time you pick up a seemingly ordinary stone, pause, it might not be ordinary at all. 1. Quartz River Stones, white, milky, or glassy. At first glance, quartz river stones appear plain, white, milky, or glassy. But inside, they often conceal extraordinary treasures. Gold flakes can glint from hidden cracks, while amethyst crystals, aquamarine pieces, garnets, and tourmaline needles may lie silently within. Quartz forms in hydrothermal veins, where mineral-rich water deposits gemstones and metals. Its durability allows these treasures to survive rivers' journeys downstream. Look for quartz in river bends, behind boulders, or tucked in cracks and shallow riffles. Downstream of granite, schist, or pegmatite formations, quartz fragments are particularly likely to harbor hidden gems. Tiny veins, rust-colored stains, or faint translucence are often nature's subtle hints. In North America, quartz river stones are common in the Sierra Nevada, the Rocky Mountains, and streams across New England, while in Europe, Alpine rivers and Scandinavian streams carry similar treasures. The next time you pick up a seemingly ordinary quartz, pause. You could be holding a treasure. 2. Conglomerate Stones, Bumpy Cemented Rocks At first glance, conglomerate stones seem rough, irregular, and unremarkable. Simply a mix of smaller rocks cemented together by nature. But these stones are natural traps, perfect for capturing tiny treasures over millennia. Inside the cemented fragments, gold flakes may glint in the sunlight. Zircon crystals shimmer subtly. Garnet grains hide in tiny cavities, and small quartz or sapphire pieces lie tucked between the embedded rocks. Some rare specimens even conceal tiny fragments of ruby or spinel, making them a hidden gem collector's delight. Conglomerates are typically found in mountain-fed rivers and streams across the world. From California's Sierra Nevada and Alaska's Yukon rivers to South Africa's Witwaters Rand region, Brazil's Minas Gerais rivers, and Australia's mineral-rich streams. Within these rivers, they settle in shallow rapids, behind boulders, or in bends where the current slows, often downstream of hills or mountains rich in mineral deposits. When searching, pay attention to subtle surface cues, small bumps, cavities, unusual textures, or color variations. These irregularities often indicate where nature has trapped its hidden gems over thousands of years. A seemingly ordinary conglomerate, when inspected carefully, could reveal a miniature treasure chest waiting for someone patient enough to notice its secrets. 3. Black Sand, Magnetite Plus Heavy Minerals at first glance, black sand may seem like ordinary dirt, dark, heavy, and unremarkable. Yet this dense, mineral-rich sand can conceal gold flakes, small nuggets, garnet, ilmenite, zircon, and even rare ruby or sapphire grains. Formed as rivers erode mineral-rich mountains, black sand accumulates in areas where heavier minerals settle, creating natural traps for hidden treasures. Black sand is commonly found in gold-bearing rivers and streams around the world, including Alaska's Yukon rivers, California's Sierra Nevada streams, South Africa's Witwaters Rand region, Brazil's Minas Gerais rivers, and Australia's gold-rich creeks. Within rivers, it typically collects behind boulders, inside bends, in riffles, or in natural sediment traps, where the current slows enough to deposit these heavy minerals. When searching, observe areas of dark, concentrated sand, especially where it contrasts with lighter riverbed material. 
The weight, density, and color of black sand make it one of the most reliable indicators that gold and gemstones may be nearby. Even a small patch of black sand can hide a wealth of treasures, waiting for a careful collector to uncover them. 4. Serpentine Stones Green, Waxy Stones At first glance, serpentine stones appear green, smooth, and waxy. Stones easily overlooked as they glide along riverbeds. Yet beneath their seemingly ordinary surface, they can conceal jade-like minerals, chromite, and even small gold flakes. Formed in mineral-rich zones through the alteration of ultramafic rocks, serpentine carries hidden treasures as rivers erode surrounding mountains and transport fragments downstream over centuries. Serpentine stones are commonly found in mountain-fed rivers and streams in California's coast ranges, Alaska, British Columbia, Italy's Apennine Rivers, and parts of New Zealand. Within these rivers, they often settle in shallow riffles, behind boulders, or in calm pools along bends, where currents slow enough to let these heavy stones accumulate. When searching, examine cracks, veins, and subtle surface color variations. Even a seemingly unremarkable stone may harbor precious minerals inside. Look for faint green waxy textures, tiny embedded crystals, or unusual modeling. Subtle signs that nature has trapped hidden treasures within. With careful observation, even the most ordinary serpentine could reveal gold, jade-like minerals, or chromite waiting to be discovered. 5. Agate and Chalcedony Nodules – Smooth Rounded Stones At first glance, agate and chalcedony nodules appear smooth, rounded, and unremarkable. Dull stones you might overlook on a riverbank. Yet these seemingly ordinary rocks conceal intricate natural artistry within. Inside, you may discover layered agate patterns, vibrant jasper pockets, chalcedony veins, and tiny crystal cavities. Some rare nodules even hide amethyst, citrine, or smoky quartz pockets, turning an ordinary rock into a miniature treasure chest. Agate and chalcedony nodules are typically carried into rivers from volcanic and metamorphic formations across the world. From Brazil's Minas Gerais and Rio Grande do Sul rivers, to India's Deccan Plateau streams, Madagascar's river systems, and volcanic regions of the southwestern United States. Within these rivers, they settle in shallow riffles, calm bends, or behind boulders, where the current slows enough to let these heavy stones rest. When searching, hold the nodules up to sunlight to look for faint translucence subtle color bands or tiny cracks, which often reveal hidden crystals inside. Examine them closely for tiny pits, veins, or unusual textures. These are nature's subtle signs that something extraordinary is concealed within. Even the most ordinary-looking nodule could contain a miniature masterpiece, waiting for the patient and observant collector to uncover its secrets. 6. Jasper Stones – Red, Yellow, Brown multicolor. At first glance, jasper stones appear colorful but unremarkable. Red, yellow, brown, or multicolored pebbles that blend into the riverbed. Yet beneath their ordinary exterior, jasper can conceal hidden treasures. Inside, you may discover gold flakes trapped in veins, vibrant agate patterns, garnet crystals, and even rare opalized pockets preserved over thousands of years as rivers carry these stones downstream. Jasper is commonly found in mountain-fed rivers and streams with volcanic or metamorphic origins, such as Brazil's Minas Gerais rivers, Madagascar, India's Deccan Plateau streams, and the southwestern United States. Within rivers, they settle in shallow riffles, calm pools, or behind boulders, especially downstream of exposed volcanic or metamorphic formations. When searching, pay attention to cracks, veins, subtle color variations, or unusual textures on the surface. These are nature's subtle hints that something valuable may lie hidden inside. Even a seemingly dull or ordinary jasper could be a miniature treasure chest waiting for the patient collector to uncover its secrets. 7. Schist Rocks – Layered, Shiny Stones At first glance, schist rocks appear layered, shiny, and gray or silver. Stones that seem ordinary as they tumble along rivers, yet beneath their unassuming surface, these metamorphic rocks can conceal garnets, 
sapphire fragments, kyanite shards, and even rare rubies. Formed under intense pressure and heat deep within the earth, schist preserves these gems in its foliated layers, carrying them downstream as rivers slowly erode mountains over thousands of years. Schist rocks are commonly found in mountain-fed rivers, in streams in the Himalayas, the European Alps, the Rocky Mountains in North America, and the highlands of South Africa. Within these rivers, they settle in shallow pockets behind boulders, along river bends, or in areas where currents slow and water scours the riverbed, often downstream from exposed metamorphic formations. 8. Pegmatite Fragments – Chunky, Crystal-Rich Stones Chunky and crystal-rich. Pegmatite fragments washed down from mountains and may contain tourmaline, aquamarine, garnet, topaz, or spodumene. These stones are often found near mountain streams, in shallow bends, or behind large boulders. Glimmering crystal surfaces or vibrant color spots are strong hints that precious minerals are hiding inside. Pegmatite fragments are nature's lottery ticket. You never know which stone might contain a gem. 9. Nice Stones, Striped Banded Stones Nice stones are striped or banded, typically gray or black. They can conceal garnets, kyanite, star-shaped storolite, and rare sapphire grains. Streams eroding metamorphic formations carry nice stones into shallow riverbeds, where water moves slowly. Small red, green, or black spots often hint at hidden gems within. Don't pass over these seemingly ordinary stones. The stripes may hide something extraordinary. 10. Granite River Stones Granite may appear common, but it can hide barrel traces such as aquamarine, tourmaline needles, garnet grains, and smoky quartz. Look for granite stones in river bends and riffles, especially downstream of granite-rich mountains. Veins, cracks, or tiny protruding crystals are hints that treasures lie within. Even the most ordinary granite can conceal remarkable gemstones. The next time you walk along a river, don't ignore stones that seem dull or ordinary. Examine cracks, veins, and color patterns carefully. In the world of river stones, appearances are deceiving. The ugliest rocks often hide gold, garnet, aquamarine, and even rubies, waiting for someone who notices the details. And remember, the next time you think a stone is just another dull river rock, Maybe it's the one you've been looking for. And as you walk away from the river, remember this. Every stone you stepped over had a story, a secret, a piece of the earth's hidden memory. Some hold nothing, but some hold everything. A flash of gold trapped in quartz. A shard of garnet waiting to glow in sunlight for the first time in centuries. A sapphire sealed in river-polished basalt, dreaming of the moment someone finally notices its color. Most people will never see these things. They move too fast. They don't look closely. They trust what their eyes tell them, and their eyes tell them it's just another rock. But you, you're no longer that person. Now you know the signs, the patterns, the clues. Now you understand that the river doesn't give treasure to everyone, only to the ones who slow down long enough to see what's right in front of them. So the next time your foot nudges an odd, heavy, ugly-looking stone, stop. Pick it up, turn it in the light, because that might be the moment you discover the gemstone that changes everything. And if you want more secrets like this, the real clues prospectors use, the tiny signs and river stones that most people never notice, then make sure you subscribe, because every video here unlocks another layer of the hidden world beneath your feet. One episode might teach you how to spot gold hiding inside quartz. Another might reveal the color pattern that exposes a sapphire trapped inside a river rock. And another might show you the exact shape, weight, or texture that separates a worthless stone from a gemstone worth thousands. This channel isn't just entertainment. It's a guide for the people who want to see what others overlook. A map for anyone who's ready to start finding treasure in the real world. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay alert. Because your next discovery your first gemstone, or even your biggest find yet, could begin with the very next video.
Alright, I haven't even taken it out yet, but look at this. 